Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to Unizor Education. Um, the purpose of this lecture is to explain how cotangent function behaves uh, for basic angles, basic like 30 degrees, 45 degrees, etc. Um, now, we have examined sine and cosine, and these are major tools because I'm going to do it this way. I will use this definition of cotangent and the fact that I know the values of cosine and sine for all these basic angles, and that's how I will derive the values of the cotangent. Instead of um, considering this unit circle and, uh, and triangles, etc., this is easier. So let me just draw a little table which has all the major angles. 0, pi over 6, pi over 4, pi over 3, pi over 2, which is 0 degree, 30, 45, 60, and 90. And I know my cosine and I know my sign in these cases. So what are they? Well, let's recall. Um, cosine at zero is one. Then at 30 degrees, it's uh, square root of three over two, uh, square root of two over two, uh, one half, and zero. Now, sine is basically the reverse. And one. So, what are the values of my cotangent? Well, let's divide one by another. In this case, it does not exist because the denominator is equal to zero. This is a square root of three. This is 1. This is 1 over square root of 3, which is square root of 3 over 3. If I multiply by square root of 3, both numerator and, and denominator, this is a more traditional recording, and this is 0. Well, that's it. No big deal. Now, um, you also know that cosine is an even function, and sine is odd function which makes cotangent an odd function, right? This doesn't change the sign if you change an argument sign, and this does. So obviously the fraction, the ratio would change the sign. Now that makes actually it very easy to calculate something like, what's the cotangent of minus 60? Well, that's minus cotangent and 60 and stuff like this. Also don't forget that cotangent is a periodic function and pi is a period. So you can add pi or subtract pi to any of these values to get other values. So what I'm saying is that all the basic angles around the circle, 30, 45, 90, uh, whatever, 135, uh, 120, all these angles can be derived from these and and, and, and pi, 180 degrees. And using this manipulation and using the periodicity and the fact that the function is odd, you can derive any other values. So as you see, it's very simple. It's a very short lecture. I just wanted to cover these um, very basic topics. Now, um, I'm not sure you have to remember it. The only thing which you do have to remember is probably that the sine of 30 degrees is equal to one half. Everything else is kind of easily derivable uh, from just thinking about this triangle. Like it's a 45 degrees, it's obviously equal, and it's part of the square, and you know, all, all these little things. Everything is derivable. I mean, you don't have to remember anything. And by the way, one of the purposes of the whole course is that math has internal logic in itself. And um, not too many things you have to really like memorize, um, 
most of these things can be derived. And if you remember how to derive it, which is much easier, at least for me, to memorize certain just numbers or, or properties, whatever, um, that would make actually it's much more useful knowledge for you. Um, well, that's it for today. Thank you very much. And uh, uh, I will continue talking about second and cosecond in the next lectures. Thank you.